keep mandatory driving a car somewhere or stop where you buy Red Bulls and hot dogs. Just realized I left with the hotel room key. I've been a mess all morning. I couldn't, it took me half an hour to, to find my wallet. And then I left with the hotel key. We're doing okay. We'll send this on the mail. It's not the first time this happens. Chili ketchup, always chili ketchup in the Strong mustard. A lot of it. So the key to driving places fast is quick pit stops, so hot dogs are ideal. I never eat hot dogs outside of Scandinavia, but when I'm in Scandinavia, all I eat is hot dogs. So Yoon, what are we doing? Well, we are at Stottel, because Stottel has uh, one euro hot dogs, whereas most uh, gas stations in Norway, they're 100 euro, yeah, they're really expensive. So I just learned that they're cheap here. But, that's, well, that's what we're doing now, now. But in the longer term of things, we are on our way to Oslo to go meet up with the douchebag guys, to hopefully see some new cool products, and most of all, to meet the guys and hang out, because I usually work alone and it's kind of boring, so every time I'm in Norway, I try to stop by and uh, sort of work with the group a bit. So we're gonna kill this hot dog and jump in the car and go make some kick-ass bags. I like to pull, pull the weight a bit on the filming as well because I like filming, but it is good to have a helping hand. Yes. We are at the douchebag's office. I, I thought since we're here, we're gonna give you a quick look around. Uh, messy part, probably my fault. And then we have a lot of uh, bags here, conference room. And here we have uh, the teams working in here, probably on a bunch of secret uh, prototype things. So I'm gonna go ahead and not film in there. So I don't have to get a lot of, get into problems. But basically this is uh, where the team works. Uh, as you know, I work, uh, from around the world and uh, I'm trying to contribute in every way I can and the reason why I love working with this so much is because first of all I love product development it doesn't matter what it is but just being able to think of a product and then think about how to do it better that's probably one of the best things I know and then the fact that it's bags and my home is pretty much a bag makes working with a bag company pretty much the best thing you can do and in terms of what I do at, at douchebags it's uh, Mostly I would say product development, but maybe not the sort of exact zipper and more into like the direction of the products that we're making like You know if we make a really sporty pack that's gonna take our company to go this way Whereas if we make a, a carry-on that makes it take this way So I'm trying to like look at all the products we have and find the the right path for the company So I work a lot with colors and yeah as well that kind of ties into marketing a bit So me together with Jessica we're working on the marketing side of things. Uh, she's Luckily, she's so good that I can kind of just leave that to her and then focus more on uh, products, which, uh, which is super difficult, but really, really fun. One actually kind of uh, cool story is that if you look at this picture, it's probably one of the most beautiful places on earth uh, at uh, Stutt, Norway. And out here in the water, I met trolls who I later found a uh, douchebag together with. And it's pretty funny because in Norway, there's, it's too cold to surf. So if you meet someone out there, you're like, hey, how you doing? And we started talking and uh, about somewhere along the road here, we started talking about things to do. And then in one of these houses, we came up with the idea to start a ski bag company. So this is kind of the birthplace of douchebags, which is pretty cool considering it's one of the nicest places in the world. And it's actually a true story. It's different to be in an office trying to work and get stuff done because I'm used to being at home, no one disturbs me, and uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's different. I've never really worked at an office before, so it's, uh, it's interesting. Ah, new sample. See, I sit here and design things, and I'm, I'm probably the last one to actually get to see stuff. This is our new aviator, the uh, roller bag carry-on for airplanes, and we have 
done probably about 30 prototypes on this one. And so with, with carry-ons, I've always been a, a carry-on man. I don't know how many carry-ons I've bought. And now I finally got to make a carry-on so I could take everything into consideration what I like. And uh, first of all, lots of pockets because you always have coins, uh, uh, hard drives, cables, sunglasses, and I lose my things. So the more pockets, the better. And then uh, this construction makes it hyper mega light. It also makes uh, the team sleep less because it was far from easy to uh, to produce. Get the man, Hey! See, I, I can't even bring it. But I like it. I like bags. I've always been a bag guy. But it's cool. It's fun to be here because then I kind of get an update on everything that's going on. And sometimes when you're alone, you don't get to. Uh, you don't know everything that's going on, so it's perfect to fly in. It's good to ski a lot in Norway, because then I can fly in Oslo, say hi, get an update, and try to steal things, which I obviously can't, and then go skiing. So um, I think we're pretty much done here for the today, so uh, we are going to go and check into a new hotel and sleep some more. <laughs>